And welcome back, everyone. Tony Schiavone, we are counting down the days to the Great American Bash. June the 11th in Baltimore, Maryland. So many big matchups at the Great American Bash, including father versus son when Ric Flair squares off with David Flair. Rick putting his sports entertainment career on the line. But certainly the anticipation is very high for a matchup involving this man, the Dark Angel, Vampiro, when he will go one-on-one -on -one against his former brother in pain, Sting. And I think you'll agree that Vampiro has been not only breaking down Sting physically, but certainly mentally as well. We've been covering uh, sports entertainment for a number of years, Mike, today, but we have never seen the mind games, the depth of the mind games that Vampiro has been playing with Sting. And they are getting to Sting. And he knows this. And although Sting has always seemed to have the upper hand intensity-wise, it's pretty obvious that mentally right now, Vampiro has him on the edge, on the brink. And we'll see exactly... what he'll do at the Great American Bash. And the opponent for Vampiro is a young man who's made quite a name for himself on the independent circuit, Mike Rapata from Colorado. This kid from Colorado trying to step up here in World Championship Wrestling and score a win here against Vampiro or even a good showing against Vampiro would certainly open the eyes of the executives of World Championship oh. Wrestling, namely Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff. Strip away all the mind games, strip away all the the mental games that he has been playing with Sting, and you have quite a talented athlete in the ring in WCW. No denying that, and especially when you consider the offensive arsenal of Vampiro. To my mind, it differs from any other wrestler in WCW currently active today. He's able to do so many different things. There you see an example of the great agility. Rapata able to flip him out of the corner. Vampiro immediately to his feet and then sprints into Rapata and connects with the clothesline. Every superstar here in WCW has their own threshold of pain, but it seems that Vampiro's threshold of pain is higher than anyone else to the point to where the more pain he endures, the more he likes it. Yeah, almost to the point where on several occasions during this incredible rivalry with Sting, it seems as if Vampiro is encouraging that type of pain. Rapata with that big forearm smash right between the eyes of Vampiro, able to slow down the offensive assault of Vampiro, and that may be a mistake. Whoa. Vampiro elevating Rapata, lifting him up and over the top rope, and he goes crashing down to the floor. Man started to chant, we want Sting, and it just fired Vampiro up. Wrong thing to do, but sometimes you wonder what fires Vampiro up. Another unique move from Vampiro, not that one with the steel chair, but certainly before that, that slingshot into a back elbow that stunned Rapata, and now Vampiro appears to be in the driver's seat out on the arena floor, gonna send him, oh, shoulder first into the steel steps. Speaking of firing Vampiro up, I guess Sting has seen enough of fire as of late, wouldn't you say, Mike? Oh, we've certainly seen that, Tony, on recent WCW broadcasts. Whether it was the car of Sting that was turned into a blazing inferno, we've seen the mask of Sting as well set on fire, all leading to that big human torch match upcoming at the Great American Bash. Now both men back into the ring. Rapata off the ropes. Took Vampiro down to the mat with the clothesline. I wonder if at this point Vampiro may be looking ahead to the Great American Bash in anticipation of that matchup with Sting. He can't afford to do that with Mike Rapata. Spinning, swinging, neck breaker, lateral press, and a two count did not hook the leg, enabling Vampiro to kick out. Yeah, you can just see the inexperience of Rapata coming through. He's got the tools. There's a good move. And another two count for Mike Rapata coming close to victory against Vampiro, but not quite able to put him away. A good pity combination after the first one did not work for Rapata and give the young man a lot of credit. He's going right after Vampiro again, not intimidated by what Vampiro has brought to WCW over the past couple of months. Well, Rapata came off the ropes. Vampiro was ready for him and drove him down to the canvas with the Uranage. Opportunity now for Vampiro to put away Rapata momentarily losing his level of concentration and his focus. 
motioning here to the crowd that it is time to put Mike Rapata away and take the win as we head into the Great American Bash. Going to take him up. Power bomb. Gets two in. Did he get him? He got him. He got the three count before Rapata kicked out. And with that power bomb win, Vampiro heads to the Great American Bash in the anticipated showdown against Sting. Domination from Vampiro. And here it is once again. The pickup drives him down to the mat. High impact blows. What made him famous in the movie calls the nail in the coffin. And that was all she wrote for Mike Rapata and a big win for Vampiro.